What's up guys, my name is Darius P and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 update video. In this video, we're talking about wildlife. Yes, the animals hunting, fishing, making a little bit of money and all of that good stuff in Red Dead Redemption 2. It comes out really, really soon. Actually, not soon. It's a month from now. I guess that is soon. October 26th today. It's September 26, 30 days away. Well, how many days is this in September? Let's check that really, really quick. It's 30 days, 30 days away, and we will all be playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Blackout. Well, anyways, let's talk about wildlife. The diverse habitats and climates of Red Dead Redemption 2 are home to around 200 species of animals, birds, and fish all of which behave and respond to their environment in a unique way. Deer, bison, and pronghorn traverse the plains in the large herds, or in large herds. Scavengers, aka vultures, quickly sniff out carrion, sockeye, salmon, leap up stream. Wolves attack in packs surrounding their prey. Yes, that means you. Geese fly in fixed formations. Why wouldn't they? Possums play dead. We're going to kill them anyway. Rodents scamper into tree hollows. Grizzly bears bluff charge when threat and birds of prey soar on thermals. They all form part of a complex ecosystem and must continually fight for their place on the food chain. I wonder if animals can go in extinct in this. Can you just, can I go around and kill all the bears? I wouldn't want to. I'm just saying, could I go around and kill all the bears if I wanted to? The wilderness is at, the wilderness is at once a, um, reading this wrong. Bountiful and perilous place for both man and prey. You should have said, they, 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 they got that wrong. And any other predator can quickly turn prey. Hmm, you're going to have animals like the ca the California Valley Coyote, the Whitetail Buck, the Eastern Turkey Vulture, the Bald Eagle, the American Alligator, the Tennessee Walker. Just an all black horse, people. The North American Brown Bear, a.k.a. the Grizzly. You got the Morgan horse, just a just just a brown horse. Let's move on to hunting and fishing, right? Hunting and fishing are essential skills for survival in the wilderness, providing food, materials, and a source of income. Yes, you make money by fishing and hunting. A huge variety of fish swim the many rivers, lakes, and streams, and selecting the right bait or lure is key to a successful day's haul. Tracking an animal takes focus and patience. Move carefully and watch the wind direction. Just this, this, this is just like real life people or you will alert your prey. Choice of weapon and shot placement are also, you know you wanna shoot them right under the shoulder through the heart, we all know that are also very important and will affect the quality of the meat and pelt. So you don't want to put 25 shots into the deer. Just, just don't do it. You're going to ruin a deer. Which in turn affects the price that traders will pay for them. Make sure to pick the right gauge of rifle or the size of animal that you're hunting. <laughs> or master the use of the bow for a quiet and clean kill. After a successful hunt, you can either skin and butcher the animal on spot or take it with you whole. Just try to not leave it too long or the scavengers, aka vultures, will come looking. Skins, parts, and meat and entire carcasses can all be loaded onto your horse to be sold to the butchers in town. I wonder if other people can steal your horse. I mean, steal your, uh, your meat. Well, I mean, of course they can steal your horse too, but I wonder if they can steal your meat from you. Your game. Your game that you uh that you catch. 
can be sold to butchers in town, taken back to camp for the stew pot, or crafted into clothing or other items. Nature Ampla Nature Ampla provides, and there is no reason to ever go cold or hungry, people. I like this. I like this a whole lot. Let's keep it moving. Hunting wildlife provides valuable natural resources like meat, hides, and other useful materials. You can sell meat and animal. We are we are notice to butchers or general stores. Donate them to your camp or use them to cook and craft for more exotic goods. Bring your hoe to a trapper. Game, aka animals to kill. I don't know why they call it game. Can be found across a range of habitats. If your first shot is not immediately fatal, which mine will always be, we know this. Your prey will try to escape. All the clues like blood to track it down. And you may need to use a mercy kill to end the animal suffering. Yeah, we, we don't want the animals to suffer. We don't want them to suffer. We just trying to eat. Selecting the proper weapon is important to the quality and yield from your kill. Bow and arrow is often the optimal weapon of choice for clean kills. Approach prey quietly, cover your scent, or stay downwind to make it harder for animals to detect your presence and use a call to draw its attention before making your fatal strike. Like hunting. Fishing also yields meat and useful materials. A range of species can be found in different habitats, each responding to different var varieties of bait. Now, you know there are a lot of horses. You know there's going to be a lot of horses. There are 19 breeds of horses in Red Dead Redemption 2. From Arabians, the Shires, to the best horses in the world. The Mustangs, each of which handle differently with, with these own defined characteristics. Horses can be captured and broken out in the wild, purchased from stables, or acquired by more underhanded means. Oh, oh. Of course, they mean stealing. Like, of course, steal the horse. Your horse is your constant companion. And you will rely on them just as heavily as any of your fellow gang members as it is important to take good care of your animal. By keeping it groomed and well fed, you will start to see improvements in stamina, performance and handling, and it will become less skittish as the bond grows between you. With 59 different styles of coat and a huge range of customable miles of tack, including saddles, horns, stirrups, spurs, you can create a horse that is truly your own and develop a personal and unique relationship as you explore the world together. Wild Hungarian half breeds can be found in the heartlands among other habitats. Capturing and taming wild horses can be a free method to acquire new mounts. I mean, we can either tame or we can go take. Buy, sell, and store horses from stables or purchase provisions to keep your horse fed. Tonics that give your horse temporary health and stamina boosts and equipment like stirrups and saddles, which can improve your horse's performance or simply add style or simply add style to your horse's mane, tail, or otherwise. Your bond with your horse represents trust and understanding. As your bond with your horse grows over time and through activities like feeding and grooming, your horse's attributes like his health and speed will improve. You will also unlock bonding perks and rewards. Store weapons, outfits, masks, hats, and your horse's saddle. You can also store fresh kills, birds, and small game can be attached to the saddle. Or you can store larger game across your horse's rear. Ladies and gentlemen, Red Dead Redemption 2 releases October 26, 2018. Then a month later, we're going to have Red Dead Online. I can't wait to play both. These are animals, some of the animals 
and wildlife and just just the great outdoors that you will be experiencing in Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks for watching. I like it too, baby. <laughs>